What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with the next War Recap video and this is one that I hated I was gone for. Very cool group of guys and girls, Lex Corp, had an arranged war with us and it was a lot, a lot of fun and a very competitive war for sure. So good job to everyone over at Lex Corp. Uh, if you guys don't know, that is uh, the home of the Clashcast.com, great podcast. Go check it out if you have not. Uh, they did a really good job. Mo all of our Town Hall 11s and 10s uh, two-starred. And then I don't think there was any threes. Was there's Predator? Predator's a 10. Yeah, Predator's a 10. Uh, so he got the three star right there. Uh, and then a couple of the Town Hall 9s slipped through the cracks on them, and that was the difference in the war, really. Uh, so good job to them. It happens. Uh, probably not used to hitting bases like ours very, very often. So uh, we've all been there. We've all been, you know, when we started hitting, you know, doing these arranged wars and that, it was, it was very difficult to three-star all of them. Uh, I'm sure they will get nothing but better from this experience. Uh, good job to everybody at One Hive. Very, very nice job. There was a lot of uh, two stars on top and then some even some Town Hall 10 three stars. We'll check out one of those. Um, I think just one of them, yeah. And uh, all Town Hall 9s three stars. So very, very nicely done to everybody at One Hive. Again, wish I was there for this one. Some crazy attacks. You guys are going to love some of it. So check out the very top one, Predator, who is a Town Hall 10. Uh, pretty, you know, not maxed out. 30, 36 heroes taking on their number one base and doing it, getting the highest percentage. I love these attacks like this. I mean, it's crazy. Sending in this, and look what he does here. Sends in the queen, drops her down, a couple of healers on her, right? She's got more healers in the bag, creates a little funnel here for her, and lets her start walking his way down. But now what happens when you do this, and the base is designed pretty well to like where the, the air defense are out of range, like what you're going to see here where that air defense, the queen's not going to get to it. She's not going to take it out. It's too far away. Uh, the the healers start lagging behind. They start dragging behind her and eventually will get in range of those air defenses and they will die. So I thought what Predator here, did here was very, very smart. Uh, he didn't deploy them all. You know, he just waited. He saved them. He did just enough, even had a few giants there to take off some of that point damage heat uh, so that the queen doesn't go down. Because he knows as soon as she starts around in this corner here, that air defense, and it's a maxed out air defense, is going to get in range, start taking out her healers, and it's all going to be over. So as soon as that starts to happen, he just deploys a few more on a different angle to where they aren't going to lag behind. They're not going to be in that AD. Right there, you see the AD locking on. Look how quickly those uh, healers start going down. Boom, boom. One down. Here's two more for you. Brand new, fresh healers, queen. Uh, I just love it. Drops the rage down, gets her boosted right back up, and takes out that uh, Archer Tower really, really quickly, and then boom, right back to work here, and just has two more in the back still. So just keeps it going, goes around the corner here, does the same thing as she starts to get uh, to this next corner. Uh, just reinforce, give her a little bit more healage, and lets her push into the base there. So obviously this walk right here is all about percentage points. We've talked about this a lot. Uh, if you're a Town Hall 10 and wanting to get that high percentage, you've got to start it with a queen walk. Get a big section of the base. You have the time to do it now. Just have a good plan for it. Make sure you're getting good stuff. And then you have a good plan to get in and get that Town Hall taken care of. So right here, this is all great. Taking out a lot of defenses, taking out a lot of trash, and getting those percentages racked up. You see that 36% already. Uh, so right here, as she comes around the corner, as we talked about, drops that rage down. And then a couple more healers, just making sure she's staying alive. And making sure that as they do start going in here, she's not going to get that bad angle and get taken out. So uh, on the offside there, you're going to see uh, drops down. What does he got down there? Is that the king over there? Yeah, king's down over there. He's taking out more percentage points. Actually is drawing fire from that eagle artillery right there. Uh, you see a few more healers from the queen goes down here. Uh, the king does his little walk. Not much of a walk, but gets a few defenses taken care of. Or a few, excuse me, a few trash bones taken care of. And now we're already at 50% right here. One more shot. Boom, right there. 50%. The queen, unfortunately, does go down to that uh, eagle artillery. If it gets locked on her, you almost like can't let it get locked on. She will die instantly, even through healing, even through her invisibility. It's nasty. But right here comes the main attack force. All of those dragons, the balloons, the rages, just trying. You know, he's got the funnel crate. He's got everything out of the way to where all they're going to do, take out a few buildings, and then boom, right into that, um, to that town hall. Start taking it out. You see right there, raging it up again as soon as they get on it. A uh, couple more breaths, and kaboom, that's the two-star. Already at 62%, so he has quite a few dragons up. They're doing some work. The Eagle Artillery is rough on them, and of course, when they're getting those range of those Inferno Towers and air defenses that are remaining, takes them all out pretty quickly. But 64% from a Town Hall 10 on their top Town Hall 11, I'll take that every time. Very, very nice by Predator. All right, another very, very cool attack. You saw in the uh, Death of the Town Hall 10 video how we talked about these meaningful attacks by Town Hall 9s now on these Town Hall 10s. Not three stars on like legit, you know, upgraded Town Hall 10s like this, but it gives them everything. And it doesn't get any more meaningful than this one. And I've never 
I've seen pieces of something like this. I've never seen anything like this. And Hell is going to Town Hall 10. He hit the button the other day. I saw him group me. So you're going to get to see some crazy stuff from him, I am sure, once he gets those max troops and maxed uh, heroes. But we've all seen people drop down a golem and just use it as a shield for the queen on the queen walk instead of actually healing the queen up. So that's what Hell does, but he takes it to the 10th degree. He just works his way completely around this base. Every time the queen starts to get out in front, because that golem's just beating on a wall, uh, it's just beating their, their getting healed by that by that healer. Uh, as soon as he starts getting the range of something else, he drops another golem, another healer, and just continues this around the base. Again, talk about a percentage grab. I mean, my goodness, she's going to get all of this, and she's not even getting touched. She's not getting healed. Uh, it's just completely protected, and there's no chance of these of these golems going down. You see, he's got three healers left, two uh, more golems, and then he's got a CC. I think he's got a something else in the CC, though. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, but the queen's going around again, completely protected. That mortar shooting, but I mean that's that means nothing. Uh, just love it. And then right here, as she's before she gets in range of this expo, goes in and drops that down, drops down that first healer. But see, this one's taking quite a bit of damage, the expo and two point defense. So he goes ahead and doubles up on the healer here in just a moment, uh, just to make sure that it it sort of lasts long enough for the queen to get up, take out that expo, and stop the damage from coming in. But look at this. I mean, <laughs> is this not crazy? Have you guys ever seen anything like this? I mean, I loved it. I saw it. I thought. Hell is just like, he's like this evil genius that just figures this stuff out and it works. It's so, it's so great. Uh, but right there, everything's beaten down that golem. The queen finally locks onto the expo right here. A few shots and take a little bit because they are high HP buildings, but it's going to go down. Uh, you see those poor golems just beating on those walls uh, indefinitely pretty much at this point. But he does have a plan for them. They're not out of the fight yet. You know, they pretty much healed back up all the way, drops them down with a jump spell. The king, the peck, and the CC. Uh, another giant there here comes the push for the town hall uh, with that jump spell just going right in taking everything out raging them up now unfortunately there is a dragon and a bunch of uh, other defenses in the cc there that's going to slow them down but they are going to get the town hall that really is their only objective right there is to get that taken care of because the rest of this attack is just about percentage points uh, i don't think he has any illusions of this being a three-star attack but does the same thing again up top with a golem and a jump spell this time for the queen to let her start going in uh, another another heal healer on that golem, uh, just beautiful. Town hall goes down. Here we are at sixty four percent. He's still got golems up. He's still got his queen up. He's still got his queen's ability up. Uh, just just amazing. I love it. Got a few uh, minions on the outside. Just grabbing a few more trash buildings. A few more percentage points. We'll fast forward here because it's obviously slowing way down. But the queen is doing her thing. She is dealing with that multi inferno. So she's just waiting, waiting, waiting to get taken care of. Then uses that ability. Does get the inferno taken down. Uh, there was a giant bomb there that pretty much killed her. She just one shot and she was done. But seventy two percent on a very high level town hall ten by uh, hell as a town hall nine. I just don't know how he does. It's crazy. All right, so I got an actual Town Hall 10 three-star here by Sy... Sy... How am I going to say this? Salfe. How else can you say that? Salfe. Silfe. Something like that. He's from Prime, anyways. There was some of that going on. We had some guys from Prime and some different people uh, from different parts of the family uh, just to make the war weights work and all that. So he came over from Prime and did a very nice three-star attack here. Obviously, starting it off with that queen walk. Uh, you see the minion over there creating that funnel, pushing her the way he wants her to go. And the goal here, just to walk her around, he is bringing the air attack, so clearly he wants to get some air defenses. He wants to get into the base a little bit and get some of that taken care of. Uh, so right here, she's having to just beat on some of these storages, high HP buildings, but that's part of it. She does have the extra time now, though, so it's really not an issue. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time clear everything out of the way, and then start getting into these good buildings that he wants to take out. So right there, the rage goes down, boost her right back up. Uh, she's going to walk in and get these archer towers, that wizard tower taken care of, and then right there, boom, gets locked onto that air defense, which is what he was after, uh, then continuing to walk around the side of the base here. You know, he's going to continue this around. The, the, the healers are safe at this point. You know, we, did, we talked about how you don't want to let them lag behind. If there's an air defense you can't reach, but if you can reach it, no big deal, which is exactly what happened here. Uh, right there, the Infernal Tower does lock onto the Queen, so has to use the ability, but gets the enemy Queen taken care of. That was the big thing right there, uh, using that ability at the right time from here. It's, it's go time. Lava Hound's coming in, Balloon's coming in, dropping them all down. You see the Queen does get finally get roasted as she got back in range, some of that stuff there. Uh, just got taken out. The healers couldn't keep up, uh, but again, it was mission accomplished. The Queen's dead. The... Uh, Got an air defense taken care of, and from there, it's just a lot of Lava Hounds, a lot of Balloons, free spells, haste spells, moving everything through as quickly as humanly possible. Uh, this top air, or this top Infernal Tower here, giving them a little trouble because of that Sweeper right there, pushing everything back, pushing it back. Uh, but with that Rage and some of those Balloons from the backside right here, when that haste spell, 
they actually get finally get there to it uh, from the backside. It is just that single uh, infernal tower, single target. Uh, but those that sweeper keeps pushing the balloons away, keep pushing them away, and allows it to take all those out. But these ones from the backside were not being affected. Uh, the ones on the front were tanking, and as soon as they close in on it, boom, drops it down. Only one defense left. That archer tower just needed one balloon crash on it, and that is going to be it. Beautiful three star attack there. Uh, very very impressive. I liked it. Uh, didn't you know? Didn't try to do too much with the queen because it wasn't there. Took what was there, and then from there went and went with just a heavy heavy um, lava hound. You see uh, three lava hounds and just a plethora of balloons. Twenty four balloons. It's crazy. Awesome attack. All right, moving on, moving on. Let's look at HB. HB always killing these top bases, and 90% of the time doing it with this same type of armor composition, a queen walk with a uh, go Vaho, which he loves to do and is so, so good at. So right there, the queen goes down, troll tussle in the corner. She takes that out, and then the wizard creates the funnel to push her in the correct direction. Now look at the top here. Already working with a golem and a few more wizards and some wall breakers. Wants to get in here and get that air defense right there taken care of uh, because... Actually, he's not the air defense. He's not what he's after. He's after giant bombs here. I'm sorry. Just, just completely distracted there. Uh, he's after giant bombs there. And to get in even further with that jump spell, he wants to keep the queen away from this uh, Lava Hound and the CC. We've seen this so many times, and it works really, really well. Let the queen sort of do her thing. And what he did with the queen was huge, huge value. You'll see over here, already taking out a few defenses. And when he walks her in here... There's clearly double giant bomb spots between that cannon and the air defense that he's about to take out. Plus, he gets into this Tesla farm. Uh, it just works beautifully. You see the heal spell over there for his Valks taking care of that. And the second jump spell, we're just going to allow them to get right into that queen. Goes and drops the poison on there because uh, he doesn't need it for anything else. Slow the damage down from those heroes. Just slow their attack speed, their movement speed, all of that. Pay attention to the queen down here, though, because she's not done yet. But she has nullified that one giant bomb location. So here come the hogs from the backside. You see the uh, redheads are still, I think there's still a few in there. It's hard to see. Uh, spinning around, doing some damage. Uh, but the queen's dead. The king's dead. There's a giant bomb going off. A lot of the defenses are already taken care of. Look at that queen up there. Taking out, doing the backtrack right there to get to that next uh, Tesla. Love that. Still has the healers on her. Still looking really, really good right there. Getting a little low. Uh, but the last few hogs deployed on the backside, and that is going to easily easily be a three star look at the damage on the on the lava hound it's like non-existent the lava hound's barely been touched it's almost like they did not have anything in the cc the entire attack so that's how you exploit that if you know it's in there especially uh, you keep that queen clear of it you don't load up on wizards you just do just enough to create that funnel and then boom you're in and the lava hound means nothing to those hogs to the golems to the king all of that good stuff awesome attack by holy buck good job buddy all right uh Carl Drogo, I, I don't know what it is. He got a six-star war. I think he did both of them, this one, with this Penta attack. He's been doing it a lot lately, and I think it's almost like a challenge in his mind. He just wants to see if he can Penta any base that he comes across. And, guys, it's legit. I mean, he can, if you can get in and get the Queen and the CC troops taken care of. We talked about this in the new how-to Penta video. Um, we said it was back. That's all you got to do. You can Penta any base if you get the Queen and the CC troops taken care of. And look how easily he does that here with just a few troops, the wall breakers, uh, his king and queen goes in. The queen's on the outside, but he's got the CC lured. Uh, the poison takes out a lot of the troops when they come down, uses the ability. And then from there, all he does is nine haste spells. No rages, just keeps those balloons, those hounds moving as quickly as possible through this base. Look at this. Here they go, just swarming them in there. Almost... I mean, I don't want to call it spam, but it's almost a spam attack. I mean, it really, really is. Dropping those hay spells, every balloon gets them. He's got nine of them. There's no reason to be conservative with them. Uh, everybody gets a gets a hay spell. Look how quickly they get to the center of this base. There's balloons in the center of this base already, guys. This is not fast forwarded. This is just the, this is real life. This is what's happening right here. Lava Hounds are congregating in there in the middle, and these last uh, balloons on the left side here with those hay spells, again, are going to get to that air defense that uh, before the... Uh, Lava Hounds even explode fully right there. Boom, they're on top of it. The last Lava Hound just busted as the last, well, actually it's not the last one, there's one more. But the Lava Hound just busted as that last air defense went down. And now this large group of balloons, uh, luckily the, the Lava Hound is out front doing a little bit of tanking for them. He is out of haste spells at this point. Uh, does have that one Wizard Tower, which is really the only threat left here is uh, the Wizard Tower. But right there, uh, that uh, Lava Hound exploding kind of helped out because it kind of distracted for a few shots. And then boom, right there goes down and that is a wrap the last one finally goes off uh and actually i think had more lava hounds than i thought there but they were all very very low health uh, the last one goes off gives him those extra pups he needs and just wipes the base out and again he had a six star war doing that this time if you haven't done it in a while maybe check the right base out that the queen's kind of easy to get to with just your heroes uh you can get the cc lured out 
works pretty well. And if they have a lava hound in the CC, you don't even have to worry about learning the CC. You just take the queen out and go. You're done. Uh, Cheatham, taking out number 14. You guys always love his attacks. I love his attacks. They're always very fun and creative and different than what we normally see on Go Hose and Go Fi Hose and all that stuff that I do love, uh, but it's always fun to watch something a little different. So right here, drops the minion down. His goal is clearly on the bottom to get in here, take out that expo, and to get into those two air defenses that the queen can get reach right here. You see, it's an air attack. He's got dragons. He's got loons. Uh, he wants that queen in there, uh, so he drops her down with a few healers. Uh, has a wall breakers to let her in right here. He has that funnel pretty much created at this point. And then right here come the wall breakers, test wall breaker, then a few more, open it right up for her. She's going to walk her way in. And again, you can see that she easily can get to those two air defenses. So that's what it's all about. Now she actually, I don't know if this was a cleanup attack or not. I didn't check, but she actually gets into a Tesla farm here as well. So a huge value for this little queen walk right here. I don't know if you call it a queen walk, queen charge, whatever you want to call it. Her going in and taking all of this out all on her own. From there, it is just about taking out the rest of the air defenses and He's got the Zap Quake, so you know he's got three air defenses in the bag right here. This queen's going to take care of one of two of them. The Zap Quake one, he's only got one left, but oh, wait a minute. As Cheatham often does, he has the Lava Hound in the CC to protect his balloons and just sort of swarms that last one. Uh, so you'll see that here in just a moment. The queen rages her up, makes sure she, I mean, she's going to be dealing with that king. He knows that, and then boom, right there, that Tesla farm still has her ability, though. All is well, no problem, a few skeletons there, goes ahead and uh, pops our ability then, and then the last Tesla pops up, it goes down, and then now she's pretty safe to work her way up and start taking out those AD. So now he can stop focusing on that, it's pretty much in the bag, uh, comes in from the top with his dragons, and then the Zap Quake, uh, so one AD down, the queen's about to start on her first target of an air defense right there, the dragon's already on to that defending queen, couple of breaths, and she's going to be done for one more right there. Kaboom. She's down. The queen's over here. Uses her ability. Here goes this is the third air defense. It's going down. You see a couple of balloons coming on the right side and then the lava hound and the rest of the balloons coming in. Targeting this last air defense and using uh, that haste spell to try to push them there just a little bit quicker. He's still got that rage in the bag. Uh, so if he needs that, he's got it there. But really, he's got these balloons funneled in there pretty nicely. Uh, they're already on top of that air defense. A couple of bomb drops here. He's going to be looking pretty good. He goes ahead and drops that rage spell. They come in, take out that expo, and that is a wrap. GG for this base. Excellent attack by our boy Cheatham. Always, again, fun to watch uh, these crazy uh, hybrid you know, air attacks that he does and often bring his app quake with him. So very, very cool. All right, one more for you guys. And the guys, I could have done a 30-minute, hour-long video on this one, but I decided what I would do instead. There's just so many good attacks. I'm going to record a bunch of them, and I'm going to put them on uh, my next Coffee and Clash. So be looking for, oops, didn't mean to do that. Be looking for Coffee and Clash um, uh, attacks for, from this war there. So you'll see a whole, whole lot of them on that one. What I was looking to do here is get on Gen X, taking on number 15. Beautiful attack and doing it open. This is a perfect base for opening up with Quake Spells. You'll see how much of the of the outside there, is, a lot of it is reachable by like, like this queen, for example, just a queen walk. And then what's on the inside is once she, once he opens up that little core around the uh, clan castle there, I mean, it is wide open can reach almost everything in this space, just a few defenses that will be left standing out. Uh, but when you got hogs that can jump over walls really easily, that's not too scary either. So a couple of minions on the bottom. Uh, it actually going to take out a, a good little portion of, of buildings down there, uh, sort of free area. But the queen is the story here. And then that one hog, as you've seen a million times, comes in, gets the CC lure. There's the quakes opening everything up. And then the queen is going to deal with those CC troops, dropping down that rage spell. Uh, working their way through him pretty quickly. He might actually get away with that without even using her ability. He did. Nice. Uh, did not even have to use the Queen's ability on that. It's pretty good. Uh, but and, and didn't even have a poison for him, so that's impressive. Uh, they all go down. Keeps the Queen walking around. Again, taking out several defenses that are very reachable. And now look what's left uh, on this base that is not reachable from the troops that are about to go into it. There is literally like two defenses on, on the outside that can't be reached. It's, it, it's nothing. So very, very good job. Uh, very good plan for this base. Works his way right in. The queen starts coming around. The wall breakers open everything up. You see the golem out front. Going to be doing a lot of the tanking. The heaters are getting targeted here. Not that big a deal, honestly, though. The queen's being protected, so uh, they're just splashing a little bit of heal onto that golem, keeping him moving forward. You see the Tesla farm popping right there, but he's got the king, queen going in. That queen comes around the outside of the wall, actually, there, uh, but gets taken out pretty quick. Now the king reroutes back in, and uh, the 
uh, Gen X's queen had to go ahead and use that ability because she took a few shots from the defending queen, but no big deal. This Tesla farm gets wiped out. The king's moving forward. The queen's dead. The siege troops are dead. Uh, the the defending uh, king is dead. Everything is looking great. All only threat left in this base is giant bombs. Uh, but again, because that kill squad can move through, they eliminate it already just by taking out the defenses, so many of the possible spots. Right there, you see just a few hogs going through, triggering that double set because he was being very slow, uh, patient with his deployment of his hogs. Only a few of them actually died to that. Drops that heal spell on the, those few hogs that are tanking for both of those wizard towers. Uh, so right there, the wizard tower goes down, and that is that a wrap. Beautiful attack by Gen X. And again, I think that was the perfect uh, plan for that particular base. So good job, man. All right, that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a war that I think was really, really fun. Uh, LexCorp, you know, again, a big name clan. A lot of people know about them. A lot of people listen to the podcast. And if you haven't, definitely go check it out. Uh, but One Hive comes out on top. Good job to all the good people at One Hive and to LexCorp. Until next time, guys, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.